Gargoyle geckos are some of the most colorful species of lizards in the world. In this video, we're going to go through all of the morphs and show you why we love them so much. Gargoyle geckos actually get their names from these tiny little bumps or horns that they have in the top of their heads, resembling gargoyle statues from Notre Dame. Their scientific name, auriculatus, actually means eared. So with gargoyle geckos, there are two main base patterns. The striped, which are typically the more popular, and the reticulated. Now there's different variations of each individual pattern morphs, but these are the two base patterns that you're going to see in the market. Here I have more of a regular striped gargoyle gecko. In my hands, I have a yellow super striped gargoyle gecko. And you can tell that super stripes different from the regular stripes because they have a really thick mid dorsal line. And most of the time, these lateral lines are also gonna be thicker than regular gargoyle geckos. So here is the other base morph pattern. This is more of a classic black and white reticulated animal. As you can see, there's heavy webbing and just a bunch of busy pattern on this animal. And on my right hand here, I have a banded reticulated uh, gargoyle gecko, also a black and white, very similar looking, but you could see that on this gecko here, the reticulation forms in bands that go across the body. Now, the next thing we're gonna talk about is pattern color. Now, check these two guys out. One has orange pattern color and the other has red pattern color. They are some of the most beautiful blotch gargoyle geckos we have here. And the difference being that obviously the orange is a lighter version of this pattern color. Once you start to stack it up on top of each other, it starts to turn more red. But some orange animals just look absolutely insane. The one that's on my forearm here is a reticulated orange blotched yellow base. And the one that's on my left hand here is a red base, red blotched reticulated. Both very, very beautiful animals, similar looking, but there's a little tweak in the color, which is what makes them special. So the pattern color attaches itself to the base color and it basically forms in that same direction that the base pattern is going through. Now, on my left hand here, I have a red and orange striped gargoyle gecko. You could see the clear difference between the outer orange bands and the inner red bands. Now she's a little bit duller, but on my right hand here, I have a re beautiful red striped, okay. <laughs> so here I have a beautiful red striped gargoyle gecko. He's a little bit of a super stripe because you could see the lateral red pattern going down his sides here. And you can see he is a lot brighter than she is. This is actually Red Rage. We've shown him in some of our other videos. She's about to jump to the rack. See? Call me Nostradamus. You can see the clear difference in color for these two animals. As you start to breed red on top of red, they start to get a lot brighter and the color gets a lot bolder as well. All right guys, take a look here. This is a regular red blotched gargoyle, and this is a super blotched gargoyle. Now, they do get a little bit better than this, but you can see the clear difference in the size of the blotches of these two. As you start to breed blotches back to each other, the blotches start to get bigger and brighter. So these are some of the most rare gargoyle geckos I have right now. On my left hand, this is a red super stripe, but it's one of the best examples of this morph that I have. And on my right hand is a pink pastel gargoyle gecko. When this girl fires down, she is so light. She barely has any pattern or color, and she almost turns like a purple color. These guys side by side just shows you the wide variety of morphs and patterns and colors that these guys can come in. And it is why I love them so much. Now, one thing with these red gargoyle geckos, there's a couple different traits that we talk about that we refer to when we're talking about some really high quality animals like this. When you see the red little dots on top of their eyes, we call that eyebrows. When the gecko has eyebrows, he has coloration on the top of his eyes or her eyes like this girl here. Now, when the gecko has some of that red coloration coming down the, the side of the mouth, we call that lipstick. And that is another trait that is very, very hard to find in gargoyle geckos because most of the color stops at the cheeks if they even have cheek coloration. But with this girl, you can see she is fully saturated and she has some insane lateral 
red going down her sides. One of my favorite gargoyle geckos in my collection, and I think you guys will like her. So what you're looking at here are three different types of base coloration with the gargoyle geckos. On my right hand, I have more of a classic striped. Typically, these guys fire up brown. She's not fired up right now. That's why she's so light. Here is a yellow male. And right here on my forearm is the rarest of the three, which is a hot pink female. Whoop. Don't worry. He's fine. But look at this pink female here. This is the rarest base color of all of them. You see a classic, you know, white based animal here next to the pink stripe. And the pink stripes just are so beautiful, especially when they're fired up. They typically have this really bright white belly, but on top, you could see the coloration difference right here. And it just turns a really, really light pink. One of my favorite geckos here. Now these two animals I have here are pretty rare. They're called mosaics. And what a mosaic is, is basically like a combination of a striped and a banded gargoyle gecko. As you can see with this guy here, he has what it is the beginning of a stripe coming down, but then it breaks up into a lot of reticulation. And you can see some of these bands looks like they're being influenced by that stripe because it's coming down across the body just like that. Now these gargoyles could be a mix of, you know, breeding one stripe to a banded gargoyle gecko. We're not really sure how they get passed down yet, but the main quality of a mosaic is that they have both traits, striped and banded, and they seem to be interacting with each other. Pretty distinct looking gargoyle geckos. Gargoyle geckos even have some variable eye rim coloration. Some of these guys could have that yellow, orange, and even reddish eye rims. Also, something that's highly variable is their base coloration. This gargoyle gecko on my right has more of a white base coloration, while this one on my left is more like yellow, brown. You could also get some very nice, vibrant yellow base colorations, orange, and also red. So one of the most unique gargoyle gecko morphs are going to be the phantom gargoyle geckos. Now the phantom just means that they have dark eyes and that's independent to any of the pattern color or pattern morphs that they have. Look at these eyes on these two girls. They are completely black and that makes them very, very rare. Phantoms with two black eyes are super rare, especially when they get to be this dark. Now sometimes phantom gargoyle geckos will just have one dark eye and one light or regular eye, but typically they eventually both go dark. Now, when they hatch out, they don't have these dark eyes. They start to come in around three years old or even older, but these girls are, you know, up there in age, so you can see they have fully developed phantom eyes, and they look so cool. And last, but certainly not least, are these two very, very special geckos. Now this is a mutation that I'm still trying to pinpoint and, and figure out, but this is what I think are amelanistic gargoyle geckos. Amelanistic just means that they don't have a single speck of melanin, almost like an albino, pretty much an albino. And the reason why I think that is because these two animals right here, believe it or not, are fully fired up. When they fire up, they get these yellow or pastel -y lines going down, but they don't get any dark pigment whatsoever. Now, these are two brothers, and I know of somebody else that has a similar looking gecko like these, so I do believe it is a genetic mutation. I believe it is a simple recessive, and we are on our way to proving that out. If we do prove that out, and this ends up being a hypo or an amelanistic, like I do think, this could be the biggest thing for gargoyle geckos ever. This morph with the combinations with the red stripes will make absolutely stunning animals that don't fire up any darker than this. And when they're fired down, they're paper, paper white. This is my favorite project going into the 2023 season. Crested, gargoyle, lychee, whatever. This is my favorite project. And I'm excited to show you guys these guys and have you guys, you know, come along with me in the journey to try to prove these guys out. White Boy and Vanilla Ice my two favorite gargoyle geckos in my collection right now. If you guys want a chance to win a red stripe gargoyle gecko, make sure you guys subscribe and share any of our videos on any of your social media, screenshot it and email it over to tikisgeckos at live.com. When we reach 85,000 subscribers, we will announce the winner.